Today I'm going to introduce you to something completely new for many of you. It's uh, an amendment, a bacteriological uh, amendment for manures and slurries. It's uh, called Bacterialit. Now, on the top of the bag it says, for, if my French serves me right, something about adding value to manures for the rapid biological transformation into humus. And that's exactly what it does. Now, this was designed about 50 years ago, a family in France. Uh, this is a dehydrated powder form. What you do is you shake this in on top of your farmyard manure if you have a shed, or you just pour the bags in different points into your slurry tank over the period that the cattle are in the shed. Now, what it does is it changes the particularly slurries, the, the, the slurry is changed into a, a more humic um, compound uh, with the result that when you actually spread it there is little or no smell from the slurry. It also doesn't allow any damage to be done to the soil microbes or worms. It, in fact it acts like a farmyard manure in some ways if this is agitated in and it is left for the required period of time. Now I've seen this at work on a farm. I've seen huge benefits that it brought to the land including a reduction of 50% in nitrate fertilizers required after it was um, put out in the slurry for two or three seasons. Amazing um, what it does to the ground. Quality of grass, everything improves. Now it isn't cheap. This bag, 20 kilos, is around 80 euro. Um, and it'll only really do a couple of square meters. Now, my plan is, I am an area of the shed I have prioritized where every day I go in and spread a couple of kilos onto the, the farmyard manure there. The cattle will walk it in and they'll dung on top of it and all that. And when um, the weather dries out and I intend to put this out, I have prioritized this particular manure for the area of ground from which my last um, video was done, the, the restructured la land. Um, there'll be about probably seven or eight good transport boxfuls. Um, and I'm going to spread that on that before um, harrowing it, power harrowing it in. And it'll be an interesting experiment to see just how effective that farmyard manure is. Uh, now, if you want to have a look at this in a real laboratory situation, you can go online onto YouTube and you'll see it uh, under, I think it's Bacterialit, um, the YouTube video demonstrates when it's put into um, sand compound uh, where you intend to grow any, well, I think it's grain in this case. Um, you can watch over a period of time and you can see in... Um, detail the humus beginning to develop in the soil so obviously this could be a big addition to helping to capture co2 as well um, something i am not overly scientific or all fair with but i think it's worth uh, having a look at um, it definitely does what it says in the tin and i'm not here to promote this company or this product but i have seen firsthand uh, the benefits of using this um, and uh, i'm going to try it out myself now for the first time and um, Let's see over the course of the summer just how good the grass uh, and the ground is. The one thing I did notice when it was being used on this farm was the soil actually opened. In other words, uh, compaction seemed to be relieved and the roots seemed to be able to get down deeper because it was opening up the soil. Uh, now, there are claims made that you'd never need to use lime if you needed to use this, but by God, you'd put out an awful lot of lime on land for the same uh, amount of outlay as you would with this in smaller quantities so you know that's up for debate but at the end of the day it definitely has huge benefits for the soil and anything that it can improve the humic content in the soil to grow better crops will transfer itself into the cattle in the end of the day or the sheep um, and reduce costs and be better for the environment so there it goes we'll see how it goes